We're dealing with the most unprecedented injury crisis in Ipswich Town. Four of our best players, including club captain Chaplin, Eddie Nketia, and even Angel Di Maria are all out injured. And all this is happening while we're having dreams of getting top four, getting Ipswich down to the Champions League. But all those hopes and dreams could come crashing down because without these four players, there's no way we can compete. In fact, there's a good chance we could even drop down into a relegation battle. And if you remember last season, this is the real world and we're getting cooked. Amrabat scores. Okay, and right now though, we've got a problem and we concede. Oh, the gap is still two points. It's almost like our last two games are now must win. No, absolutely not. We do not want to be getting into a scrap like that. We have to now figure out a plan to still compete at the highest level with Ipswich. And thankfully, we are in the January transfer window. We can bring in replacement signings. And it's not so simple because our budget is just 16 million. I really don't know how we're going to do this. But one thing's for sure, we're not letting all our hard work go down the drain. Bro, I think we're dealing with our most challenging moments so far at Ipswich. Like, I know we went through a relegation battle in everything but this feels worse through no fault of our own we've lost our biggest players through injuries and i know this happens at a lot of clubs it's just part of the sport but it really does hurt and the worst thing is it's all long-term injuries and is out for the next six months di mario should be back in a couple of months that's great but captain chaplin's out for four months to is out for a couple of months we need to figure out a way to bring in the right players with then out i think this is what i want to do promote matthew mitchell as the starter there's no money anywhere for a striker this is our only choice and so as crazy as it sounds a 65 rated striker a 17 year old matthew mitchell is gonna be leading the line for the next six months an opportunity like that for a young kid like him he has to take it meanwhile in the winger position i think it's time hutchinson steps up 74 rated he's got a bit of decent pace the good thing is Di maria should be back in a couple of months i think until then hutchinson can hold the fort but i'll be very honest boys we're gonna need a new center back we literally do not have a single other center back on the bench. Ask what depth is in the mud. And I think we might need to use a big chunk of that money to bring in a new one. A lot of you guys in the comments were telling me to use the free agents market to see if there are any good center backs available. But I went through all of them and nobody really looked impressive. Okay, wait a minute. I think I found a really top tier option for the center back position. Jarrell Kwanza from Liverpool. 21 years old center back. He's English as well. Decent bit of pace. And I reckon he's going to fit in our budget. It's going to cost us upwards of 9 million. But guys, we're in a desperate situation now. We need somebody to replace Twanzebe. And I want it to be Jarrell Kwanza. And so for that, we're having a chat now with Jurgen Klopp. Okay, if we can get a good deal on this, it could be really helpful. So I'm going to start with 9 million. First offer leaves us with about 6. And yup, the 9 million is accepted. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling a bit greedy now. So I think I'm going to counter with 8 million. Bro, I don't know if this is going to work, but let's just give it a try. And they're accepting it, boys. Yo, my negotiation skills are insane. Okay, guys, Um, what if I be a bit more cheeky? Do it again with 7 million. Am I going to mess things up completely? No, they've decreased it down to 7.6. Yo, I've never negotiated so well for a transfer. I think we can get this down to 7 million. It would be an unbelievable deal. Okay, maybe not. 7.6. I think they're going to stick to it, but let's try 7.3. Saving as much cash as we can with it switch down it's got to be done but yeah i don't think klopp's gonna budge from 7.6 well we'll, we'll go down to 7.5 it's still a good offer and there you go i don't think there should be any niggles with the contract we're offering him a decent one he's gonna straight away come in as a starter that's the crazy part and there you go boys the january transfer window starts off with the bangers we sign a liverpool player Jarrell kwanza now that's one of our big problems sorted kwanza is gonna be our center back along with chalaba until at least to answer the base back. But there's still one major position we need to replace, and that's Connor Chaplin. He's out for a long time, too. And we've just got 7 million. Who can we get for 7 million that can roll? Once again, I looked through the free agents, and there was no one particularly good. Maybe we're gonna have to do something completely different. Like we did, trusting Matthew Mitchell when he was very low rated. We saw the potential in him, so promoted him straight from the academy. And if you remember, towards the end of last season, there was another talent 
in our academy that was just waiting to get his opportunity. That's right, I'm talking about Henry Walker. 71 rated since we converted him to a cam. His potential's between 91 and 94. It's actually outrageous. And I think this is perfect. We don't have the money to sign another cam. We straight away promote the 18-year-old. And he's gonna get his chance while Connor Chaplin is out. And honestly, guys, this is massive because he's already 71 rated. Solid passing stats. Oh, he's got the technical dribbling play style as well. I can't believe this, boys, but for the rest of the season, we're gonna be putting our fates into Academy boys. Mitchell and Walker. Can these two keep our season afloat? Only time will tell. It's time for the big debut too as well. Henry Walker, 18-year-old, is ready to show what he's all about. Bro, I really feel like we've turned this injury situation into an opportunity because the amount of young players coming and Kwanzaa, of course, new signing. Hutchinson's gonna get back into the team. And of course, having two academy players in key positions, it could really help us long term. But of course, we can't let it ruin everything short term. We still need to have a good season. Oh, dealing with Mohamed Kudus and Kwanzaa just got completely done by. I know it's his first game for the club, but that's just not good enough. Horrendous start against West Ham without our big players. Now, we just don't have the same talent anymore. It's a different team compared to the one that was lighting up the Premier League in the start of the season. It feels like we're slow to every second ball. Deflections going everywhere. And bro, I already miss Angel Di Maria. He was such a threat down the wing. But yeah, the likes of Hutchinson, they've got a big chance and they need to make the most of it. But so far, they haven't been impressive. Hutchinson is still trying though. And oh, that's a lovely ball. I didn't know he had that in his locker. And Mitchell with the finish. We know how good he is with his power shots and he's putting it to great use. We're heading into the second half now and I think I need to be showing more faith in these players. Yes, we've got inexperience up top, youngsters and all, big players missing, but there's still talent in this first 11. Okay, what is Chalaba doing here? Yeah? Whips in a good cross, Ooh. Walker, it's saved. Sarmiento though still has a chance, but that's saved too. Bro, Walker just had a dream moment to get his first goal. No, 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 we've been opened up. Patterson, big save. Bro, I can't believe he managed to get a save there, but that could have easily been a pen. Oh, cemento has been caught two-footed then. Fair enough. Jonathan David's too good. Yeah, go. Phillips. Lovely ball for Sarmiento who puts it in. Let's go! The Ecuadorian is doing what Angel Di Maria did for us. That's what we need from him. Full time and we're only getting a draw from this, but I'm actually really happy with this result because it shows that even after these big injuries with academy players coming in, we can still compete. We're not backing down. Okay, uh, one place we are backing down is the FA Cup where we've just been knocked out. And to be honest, our only goal this season should be to get a solid Premier League finish because it's possible we could still get top six Maybe not top four, but it's possible. It's also transfer deadline day. I think I've made my signings. We've gotten the replacements, promoted the players. We're now going to try and compete with what we have. Wait a minute, guys. I've just got an email from the Ipswich board. And you know, when this happens, it's never good news. But okay, this might actually be decent. Hey, Sid, because of the strong first half of the season we've had, there are offers from big brands to sponsor us for next season. And yup, that means new kits and a lot more transfer money to spend. But for these deals to go through, you're gonna need to guide Ipswich down to a top six finish. Otherwise, these brands simply won't be interested. First thing, guys, I like the tone from the Ipswich board. From day one, they've been all about just wanting to fire us if we didn't perform. Now they're giving us a bit more respect. I like what I see. But honestly, boys, top six with the injury crisis we're dealing with, it's no joke. We're five points off. But hey, that's gonna be our goal now until the end of the season. Games like this in the Premier League against Leicester, these the games we need to target and pick up three points. Oh, Chalabas just got rinsed for pace here. Kwanzaa's got a tough job to do, and he's done that really well. Tell you what, since his signing, he's actually holding the fort for us. That's more like it. Lovely pass for Sarmiento, and we could do something from here. Sarmiento's got the nope. pace. Ah, oh, but he couldn't convert. Hutchinson now. Looks for passing options, finds Walker again. Could lead to something here, but what was that? Oh, Kwanzaa, Easy. they're brilliant defending. He's been very impressive. Now Walker again, looks for a lovely pass for Thiago. And here we go, we've got a chance. Thiago's gonna lay it off for Hutchinson. Please, Hutchinson puts it off. That's what we need. Oh, Walker might finally have his chance and he scored. Let's go. I've been waiting for this moment. Remember the name, Henry Walker. The next big talent coming out of Ipswich. And this is why I think we did the best thing by trusting these youngsters. Because these games with the big players out, it's gonna give them a chance to grow and become better. We're 
slowly climbing up the table. And we're playing Nottingham Forest next. Again, a must-win game where we need the three points. Oh, we've got ourselves a free kick. And remember Chaplin who scored our very first free kick? Ah, sadly, he's not going to be here on the pitch. Who do we take this one with? Oh. Henry Walker is one of the best free kick takers in the team. An 18-year-old getting an opportunity to take a free kick in the Premier League. What a moment this could be for him. And if he can convert this, it would be insane. Nope. Ah, but the keeper saved it. Defensively, we've been exposed a little bit. Oh, he's missed it. If we're going to finish top six, we're going to need that kind of luck. Thiago bringing it inside, looking for Mitchell. Oh, that left foot. In fact, he can do it with any foot. What a striker we've got. With Matthew Mitchell, I haven't felt the absence of Eddie Nketiah. Patterson, what? How did he let that through? Looks like this game, we're going to be up against it. Here's Henry Walker, and there's that technical dribbling style coming to use. And we know he's good on the ball. But can he maybe go for goal himself as well? Big save. Oh, still a lot of defending we need to do, but we can't and we concede. Walker. Hutchinson. Semedo's good in these positions, but I cannot believe he bottled that. Ah, oh, we take a nail. The good streak is done. We're now in March, and we have dropped down to ninth in the Premier League. Three points away from top six. The good news, though, is that some of the players are returning from their injury. Angel Di Maria to Anzabe as well. We can at least have them on the bench. We're playing Man United next, and I think maybe at some point we can bring them on. You know what? If we can get a result against Man United, who but by the way, sixth in the Premier League. I reckon that'll put us in a great spot for top six. Old Trafford, though, it's never going to be easy. But you know what? With maybe Di Maria coming off the bench, I think we could do something special here tonight. But this first half, it needs to be good. And we're off to a good start here. Walker, first chance off the post. Hutchinson. Shots taken, Onana with the save. And now we've got Matthew Mitchell making a great run. Nope. But the angle is too difficult. Honestly, 20 minutes in, we've got Man United on the back foot. Oh, look at the defending. Kwanzaa has been such a good addition for this spell while Twanzebe has been out. Just unbelievable. Henry Walker now. Smart release for Sarmiento. And we're on the charge again. Walker should get there. First touch. But uh, maybe he should have just gone for goal on the volley. Okay, this looks really bad. United with the chance. It's off the keeper and the post. I told you, man, to get top six. We're going to need a lot of luck. But we're in the second half now. And it's time for the big return. Steve Maria and Twanzebe back in action. Sarmiento. Oh, lovely cross. Mitchell with his head and he scored. I can't believe it. We're now leading at Old Trafford. Immediately as the injured players return, there's just a new sense of enthusiasm in the team. And Matthew Mitchell, the 17-year-old, is doing that at Old Trafford. And there he is on the ball, man. I've absolutely missed him. It's also Henry Walker's first time playing with Di Maria. And they're on the same wavelength. A lovely ball for him. And now he can go and attack. This is what he does. Brilliant bit of play from Di Maria. Mitchell with the chance, but he just couldn't get the shot. Do you know what? This is the most important period of the game. Just five minutes to go. We need to show our composure. Get the job done. Di Maria on the charge. Could do a bit of a madness here. Keeps going. Looking for that pass. Mitchell. Oh, it's off the post. I can't believe it. And now in the 92nd minute, these guys have a chance here to score. No, Mason Mount. I can't believe it. We could have won the game at the other end, but Man United survived. One thing's for sure. This top six battle is going to be intense. Looks like that draw against Man United has spurred us on. Swiss seventh in the Premier League. One point off Liverpool with the game in hand. Okay, Spurs, we definitely can't catch them. They're on 62 points, way ahead of us. But we can can get that sixth place spot. But we're going to need to make these last few games count. Oh, it's so good to see Di Maria starting games now for us. That's what we need. But hey, those kind of challenges could send him back to the hospital. You know what, guys? I'm starting to feel Thiago is, is slowing down a bit. He's still got the passing range and everything. But physically, he, it, it, it's kind of taking a toll on him. Di Maria looks for Nelson Semedo. And this is where we could really capitalize Nelson Semedo, he needs to find a cutback, and he does that perfectly. Mitchell, right place, right time. Huge goal. Full diamond, that's a huge win in the race for top six. Also, guys, I think we're going to have to make a really hard decision. I think it's time for Archie Gray to become a starter here at Ipswich. This day was inevitable. Thiago is now going to be playing a role from the bench, but he's still going to be an important part of the team. I think Archie Gray is ready. Just one game to go in the Premier League, and we are in the top six. This could be huge 
for the club. But Liverpool are also in the fight. Just a point behind us. Final game of the season and we have to win it. And also we do have some incredible news as Connor Chaplin has fully recovered from his injury. Our captain is going to be back for the final game. And I'm hoping he can light it up and help us secure top six. It's honestly been a tremendous season, man. Matthew Mitchell coming through. He's got to fight 10 overalls. In fact, you'll notice it's been a season where everybody has played their part. Contributions coming from almost everyone. And also, overall growth has been solid. But winning our final game of the season is what we need to take Ipswich to the next level. You know what? First 30 minutes, Everton have been running the show. We're under a lot of pressure, yeah? One thing's for sure, it's really nice seeing Connor Chaplin on the ball. It's been far too long. And now we're going to be cooking as Di Maria's on the charger, releasing it for Mitchell. Oh, but he couldn't get the shot. And he got taken out there. Bro, we're now heading into the second half and we still haven't scored. Bro, we can't be bottling top six this way. We need to see some fight and desire from this team. Are we going to get it? And who's going to be the one to provide it? Oh, Mitchell through on goal. Another massive chance. And it's, of course, him in the absence of Enketia. Mitchell has made a name for himself. Unbelievable. Just after that goal, we're subbing on Walker for Chaplin. I don't think Chaplin's 100%. He will be next season. For now, Walker's coming on. No, 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 no. Dangerous position. Big save, Patterson. Bro, now we're feeling the pressure, boys. Top six on the line. And we're seeing chances for our opponents. We defended that, but they've got a chance. Patterson again with the save. Bro, just 20 minutes we need to hang on. Okay, we might not need to hang on if Sarmiento can produce a magical nope. moment. I can't believe Pickford saved that. Any moment the ref could blow the whistle, but any moment these guys could have a chance to. Leif Davies with the interception. It should be all over. And yes, it is. With that, we've secured top six with him switched down. The fact that we were in a relegation battle last season and now among the six best Premier League teams. This is huge. And you know, as the Ipswich board said, it's going to mean big things for next season. Bigger budget, new sponsors, new kids as well. And maybe even European football. We are not stopping until we make Ipswich down the number one club in England.